Okay, before I start today's Launchbox Nintendo GameCube setup guide, if you like what you see today, hit notification, subscribe and like so you don't miss upcoming retro emulation content. So we're looking at Launchbox and incorporating GameCube into it today, and we're going to be using RetroArch, which by far is the easiest route into retro gaming using Launchbox and GameCube games. So I'm going to leave the link in my description for this, and this is Nintendo GameCube Wii Dolphin through RetroArch and you'll find further information here maybe some information that I don't mention but under here it will tell you everything you need such as potential BIOS files you might need but in general Dolphin free retro watch and as a standalone Dolphin doesn't require BIOS to game. Uh, it's also going to tell you which type of extensions that's required to game through RetroArch. Uh, so we got .elf, .iso, all the obvious file extensions there. So anyways, what I'm going to do is set up Launchbox, presuming that you've never set this up before. I've actually purchased the Premium Edition, so I've got the license here so I can actually use BigBox. So what I'm going to do for now is just install Launchbox into my C drive. So it's going to go into my users folder and into my computer's name folder, which is Jamie. And it's going to create a new folder called Launchbox. So I'm going to go to next and next again and install. And if you're new to Launchbox and you want a walkthrough to see what you're actually paying for if you're considering the Big Box Premium Edition of Launchbox, I actually uploaded a video on this a little while back and I'll pin that in my comments section so you can check out Big Box for itself and what it's got to offer in 13.10 which is the free version which I'm going to soon turn into the premium version what I'm installing here. Okay, so Launchbox is fully installed now and once this opens what I'm going to do is just very quickly shut this down again. Okay, you know, so let's just quickly close out our launch box. And what I'm going to do first is suggest that you put your Nintendo GameCube games into a dedicated folder. Uh, so I'm going to just right click on my desktop, new folder, and I'm going to just call this folder uh, GameCube. And as we can see on my desktop here, I've got Luigi's Mansion in .iso file extension, which works just fine. So what I'm going to do next is actually go to where Launchbox has just been installed. So that's going to be in my C drive. And from my C drive, it's going to be under Users. And then my name on my computer is Jamie. And we should now find Launchbox folder just here, which we do. So what I'm going to do next is just drag my premium license.xml inside of this folder. So I've now got big box. And what I'm going to do from here is actually open up Launchbox again. Okie doke, so let's just close down the ads game section and what I'm going to do is just go over the tools, import, ROM files, and this brings you to uh, important wizard. So next, and what I'm going to do just here is click on add folder. And if I go to my desktop, I can then find that GameCube folder, which I've just created with my GameCube game in. So of course, if you've got a collection of GameCube games, just pop them inside of a single folder so they're easy to access. And then we're going to go to select folder next next part is going to ask what platform are you important games for now as we can see it's worked automatically for me if this doesn't show up as nintendo gamecube for you just drop this down and then just drag down until you find nintendo gamecube press next and from here since i don't have retroarch installed yet i'm going to choose automatically install configure retroarch your next option is going to ask you where you want your games copied. So do you want them in their current location or do you want your GameCube games moved elsewhere? For me, I'm going to just go to use the files in their current location. Would you like to download metadata for your games? So this is going to scrape or download all the information about your GameCube games. So just press next. Next part is going to ask you what type of artwork you want to download for this. So I'm going to leave everything checked. Just be mindful that once you're downloading artwork in preview videos, if you've got any movers that is, just be mindful this can cost the price of a lot of hard drive space. So next. And I'm going to go to configure emu movers and just pop in my ID. And from here, now I'm logged into Emmy Movies, I'm going to check all. Next. 
and download bezels. If I check this and I go to only thin bezels, and what this means is that by using only thin bezels, each one of our GameCube games are going to have themes on the sides rather than black lines or black bars on the sides. If we go to next, and I'm going to go to next again, it's now going to scan my game. And here we go, Luigi's Mansion .iso. Press finish. As we can see, it's now downloading and installing RetroArch for us. And I'm also going to show you in a minute where RetroArch is located. Okay, so everything has now been imported. And as we can see at the top just here under download and file, it's going to say that's downloading. And it's downloading various pieces of artwork, mainly to be used in Big Box once I open up Big Box. So under consoles on the side here, this should now appear, Nintendo GameCube, and I've got my game just here, Luigi's Mansion, ready to play. And now if I go to play, Okay, so by pressing my Xbox button, this is going to bring me into RetroArch. And from RetroArch, we can play along with video settings just here. So from Quick Menu, if I go to Core Options, so from here, I can do a lot of things such as changing the internal resolution. So currently it's on times one, 640 by 528. If I press A to go into this menu, I can then go up to 4K internal resolution. I wouldn't recommend this if you're running the lower end potato type computer. What I do recommend is at least trying times two or times three. By far, it's going to look a lot better than 640 by 528. However, if you go over to the RetroArch Dolphin Core Wiki, it will tell you there what type of computer you need to run GameCube. So we've got times two now enabled. Now, if we go to render, by default, this is going to be on hardware. And in most cases, it works fine with hardware selected. If we just scroll down to where it says anti-aliasing, this means the further we increase these numbers, the less jagged edges are going to appear on the games. Now you've got two options here. We've got MSAA or SSAA. And again, just like internal resolution, if you're running a weaker computer, a weaker GPU, weaker processor, um, it's going to lag. So, you know, use modest settings on this. For example, if I just turn this on to four times MSAA for now, we also got the ability to go to max anastrophy and also turn this up. Now, just like internal resolution in anti-aliasing by turning this up it's also going to co cause lag potentially on your computer so just go bit by bit so just pop these up in increments rather than just going full blast if you think your computer can't handle it if we come out of here and go back into the game
Okay, so let's actually open this up in big box. And here we go, very cool stuff. So launch with, and I'm going to use Retro Arch, and I'm going to use my Retro Arch Dolphin Core, which I was just using. Okay, so as you can see, everything's running fine through LaunchBox and BigBox itself. So I said a little bit earlier on, I was going to show you where RetroArch downloaded to. So from time to time, you're actually going to need to access this for particular things. So just remember, it's going to be in your C drive if you default install LaunchBox. And it's going to be under Users folder inside of your computer's name folder. And it's going to be in LaunchBox. And inside the emulators, you're going to find a RetroArch folder. And from here, if you just scroll down, you can access RetroArch directly from there. And you can download and update course. And in terms of BIOS, your BIOS files for different systems in RetroArch actually goes inside your system folder. So that's it for today's Nintendo GameCube and LaunchBox setup guide. If you're new to my channel and you like what you see today, hit notification, subscribe and like so you don't miss upcoming retro emulation content. I've got a whole playlist full of different front end retro emulation setup guides just like this one you've seen today. I also release a lot of different retro emulation related videos and just general retro gaming in general. Anyways, until next time, stay retro.